Hey everyone, today we have a reroll Kale game. Kale got a rework. She used to have a tiny mana pool, and when she cast it, you would have to wait 5 seconds before she did her finale damage. Because she was locked into this 5 second ascension, attack speed didn't do anything on Kale. She actually preferred AP items. But now, Kale has 120 max mana and cast her finale as a normal ability. Because she isn't locked in for 5 seconds, attack speed's finally good on Kale because she wants to get to her finale as quickly as possible. Contagious is a good augment. It's not as good on 2 1 though. Return on investment makes sense when playing a real comp. There's a good argument to be made that I shouldn't have leveled and just opened stage 2. It feels bad to sell two sentinel pairs. I guess I'm not making 10. What the heck? They're so strong. You're always supposed to take this Olaf. I don't know why I'm greeting for Kale. I guess I'm just trying to lose out stage 2. I'll take a rod for Ginsu's. Now I'll just sell to make 20. Probably not killing that Cassante. I didn't have to sell the Lolio pair. I could have made gold from the item paid out portal. So many tanky Cassantes. I slammed Ginsu's to beat Krugs and finally realized what portal it is. What's this? You all know what I'm looking for here. All skill. Wrong headliner, but I can't really complain at this point. Funnily enough, even with the Pentacle Emblem, I don't have the trait active yet. I don't have the items for bulk. Determined Investor is takeable. I don't see a reason to level this turn. Neither of us have to activate our Prismatic Augment yet. I did not want to see another sword. I guess I just make Hodge to use some items. I think it's a mistake to put in hard steel when you could just win streak instead. I would take another spat if I had Pentakill Kale. With these kills, I'm decently strong now. I should be okay to sit until 4 1.
They are level 7, but they don't have any damage. And now we start slow rolling. Just looking to play a vertical pentakill. So here I misread the tooltip and think I had 5 rerolls left for the return on investment, not 5 rerolls total. Race this takes hard stones way too strong. I think I want Morello, but I'll make Gunblade if I have to. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and use up these swords. I'm missing a vehicle for 7 Pentakill. We're going to level and roll just to activate return on investment. Why are their items spread out like that? I already have double healing items in Kale. It was probably partial ascension. I found Headliner Ez, but the frontline sucks. So when I get to level 8, it's Viego over Ribbon, Olaf in for 7 pence a kill. I can also drop 2 Sentinels for Akali and one other. I just feel like Disco got hit a tad too much. Neither of these are great for me. I would just sit until 5-1. Look how broken Alao he is. Kale ends up hitting the same tentacle three times. Alright, my shots have been kinda insane this game. Their frontline looks pretty weak. A bunch of one stars and a naked Echo 2. Alright, get this Cassante off my board. Now I'm looking for more mana and AP items for Karthus. Let's level and roll. I'll take a Blitz too. Akali 2 is nice and all, but I really need a single Viego. I want to make sure I have a KDA Akali. Viego, where are you at? I'm fine with making Bramble, but I think it was double Shoujin on Karthus over BT Akali.
I'm unmarking units that I don't need anymore. I'm gonna roll to 10 each turn for one Viego. One day, Ghost Boars won't just be free ones. Lulu 1 does more than Sona with no items. There's my Vega. They have a lot of TGs, but they only have S1 and they're trying to go 10. I wanted red buff, got lost, and ran out of time. Easy reforge into pentakill. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Plus I have a vexen shop to get value right away. Count how many casts Karthus gets this fight. I'm not hitting a 3 star, let's just go 9. There's a bard in their front line. Give me a card this item. Rabidon's is so freaking good. Probably the best AP item. Might as well level for Lowie now. They're almost so strong. If they had S2, they might be unbeatable. How many stacks do they have? 1000 HP and 100% AD. Sounds pretty good. Let's see if the Jinx and Punk buffs is enough to beat me. That's GG. Game was a little high roll, but Kale still put in a lot of work. Thanks for watching.